So in this video, we're going to show you how to uh, replace the tire or the tube uh, on the uh, Evolve City, the front wheel of the Evolve City. So you should only need two tools for this, a 17 millimeter socket or wrench and a five millimeter Allen or hex key. The tire levers I have here just as a backup. So we'll loosen the axle nut to 17 millimeters. You might need a second 17 to hold the other side of the axle. And just pull the axle out on, from the other side. And you'll notice that each side of the wheel has a black spacer. So there's one, and the other space is here. I'll just leave it there with the axle. And the wheel is off. And. If you're just replacing the tire and it still has air, a good idea is to let the air out. And then with the five millimeter If the air is still in there, it'll put pressure on the rim halves and the screws will be more difficult to remove. And now the rim should just break the bead. And now it's gonna come off. So the rim is apart. This is a bearing spacer, so that goes in the side there. And now we can just pull the tire and the tube off. And if you're replacing the tube, all you have to do is Tube is out of the tire. So now we'll put the put a new tube back into the tire. At this point, you want to check the rotation of the tire. It'll be labeled drive. So we're going to put the tube in the tire. If you're doing this for a puncture, you want to check the tire inside and out for, to see if you can find what caused the puncture. Tubes in, and we'll line up the valve with the indentation on the rim there. This rim also has a cutout for the valve. Line that up. Oh, don't forget the bearing spacer. This will want to fall over.
stab a blue Loctite. Tighten these good and snug. With the rim halves bolted back together, we're going to, it's wise to test the tube now before you install it on the bike, on the scooter. And we'll pump it up to 50 psi. Have a listen for leaks. So now we're ready to put the wheel back on. And if you remember that bearing spacer that's inside, we need to line that up so the axle will go in. I'm just going to use a screwdriver and move it. If it doesn't want to move, you'll have to loosen the screws. If the axle goes in. So now we're ready to install. So we'll put the axle through the fork. We'll put the spacer on, put it flush. Line up the axle hole. Leave it flush, the axle flush with the hub so you can put the second spacer in. And we're in. And axle nut goes on. And here I'm going to use a second wrench on the other side to hold it. And we'll snug this up. your front wheel is installed. Notice that the tread V points forward and we have the drive in the correct direction.